what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about scream 7 in this video here today we'll be primarily talking about patrick dempsey who has confirmed via the today show that he has at least been approached to return as mark kincaid in the upcoming seventh entry in the screen franchise shout out to uk for sending this clip my way so during this clip the the statement he made was that he's waiting on the script he said i'm waiting on the script there's been a conversation about it but i haven't seen anything yet now al roker if the, i think that was al roker who presented it to him acknowledged something that confirms another piece of information that we kind of already knew to be true as far as what has been rumored and what we can expect based off of stuff that radio silence themselves have talked about in the past when it comes to screen five but our roker presented it in this capacity where he stated you and sydney are supposed to be married and patrick said correct as if that's been a part of what's been pitched to him during these conversations to get him back on board as mark kincaid in scream 7 seemingly confirming to us that they are going to be an item they are going to be married they are going to be husband and wife which is not too shocking but he's saying he's still waiting on the script which is kind of similar to what a lot of people have not a lot of people but it seems to be what courtney said something similar to that courtney herself recently did come out saying more comments that make it apparent she intends to return even though a few weeks prior she said she hadn't signed patrick's energy in this clip makes it apparent he would like to return he seems down to return as long as he sees a script that aligns with what he thinks is appropriate to do i mean they they probably are doing this here's probably what the holdup is with patrick Patrick was also in Thanksgiving. Maybe they're coming up with Scream 7 and Thanksgiving all at once for him. And that's what the real holdup is outside of just a script he's waiting on. He could be waiting on a few things with Spyglass, if we're being quite honest. Because considering his role in Thanksgiving, the fact that he can return for Thanksgiving too. Maybe they're trying to do a double whammy with Patrick while they have him in conversations for Scream 7. And yeah, there's just something being held up there, whether that be money, which is something I've heard about, whether that be one in a larger role in Scream 7, which is also something I've heard about. So we'll see what comes of that. I can only hope that Patrick's character, Mark, is not utilized in a capacity that has him at the focus of the Ghostface spree instead of Sydney Prescott herself. And I say that because while on one end you could tell a narrative in which there was some corrupt police work that went on at his hand and that's going to put him in trouble and the rest of his family i would like to see ghostface primarily blaming sydney for something else that isn't solely sydney's fault whereas if you're going down that path with mark and something he's done recently you're primarily blaming mark and taking it out on his family which is not something i would like to see with sydney back i would like to see the killers have something against sydney keeping it in line with the fact that this woman rarely does anything to piss anyone off they're just always mad at her <laughs> but still have something motivated directed at her not her husband and the most i would even accept that comes close would be her daughter her if her daughter has done something and maybe there's been some like i theorized some sort of line the daughter has done on sydney's name and that causes them to go after sydney because of something her daughter has stated or lied about in regards to her mother i'll buy that before i'll buy patrick or mark did something dirty on the job people connected to that case are not happy about it so they've decided to rebirth ghostface to target patrick or i keep saying patrick to target mark target sydney target his whole family and at the end of the day it's all about mark and very little to do with sydney i would not want to see that keep scream directed at sydney if she is going to be back in some major capacity and i would hope since this is her first time being back in some sort of major capacity, let's not even do what we saw in Screen 4. A lot of people don't want to acknowledge this, but Ch Jill and Charlie could have executed their plan without Sydney's presence. Jill wanted to become Sydney. You didn't need Sydney there to become her. Not at all. So I would hope whatever we get in Scream 7, for the first time we're having Sydney back full focus is something along the lines of that original trilogy sydney hasn't done anything but there's a situation that has occurred it's connected to her and they blame her for it not something connected to her husband where he's the primary focus and they're just taking it out on sydney to open up old wounds for her no i don't want to see that 
But I just wanted to do a quick video to let you guys know that Patrick himself has acknowledged he's in talks. Hopefully he will sign. And yeah, hopefully this movie is something of quality and not a complete slap in the face to the franchise. As far as some of the frustration I see already about the fact that they don't have a script locked, I get where you're coming from. I'm frustrated about that myself, but who's to say the script isn't locked? And like he said, he just hasn't seen anything. The script could be locked and for whatever reason, he just hasn't seen the script. There could be something else that's preventing him from seeing the script right now. So in regards to that frustration, while I can also relate to it because I find it frustrating, the other important thing that keeps me sane and keeps me from popping a blood vessel is that you also shouldn't be rushing this movie out anyway you have a whole other year and you should be doing something to quality if you're going to be pushing the movie forward you need to be doing something to quality if you're going to be bringing back my favorite final girl you need you need to be doing something to quality if you're going to have the creator at the helm you need to ensure he's doing something of quality we need a quality screen film here we do not need a train wreck the first train wreck in the franchise. Something that would completely make everybody go back and rewatch Scream 3 and go, you know what? I was too hard on that film. <laughs> we don't need that for the Scream franchise. Yes, the circumstances, like I always state, are not what we all would like them to be. But at the end of the day, as a Scream fan, the movie's still happening. I'm not interested in seeing trash. I'm not interested in popping a blood vessel and coming on here talking about how it's trash and how it sucks and how this, that, and the third and how it belongs in the pits of hell. I'm not interested in that. So hopefully everything can go well with the production. Hopefully everything works out with Patrick. Hopefully everything works out in their favor. So that way this franchise can remain in good graces with me and several other fans who have been here since the start, whether that be the late 90s or early 2000s, whenever you were introduced to Scream. It's also possible that Patrick has already signed, if we're being quite honest, and the fact that Here's what could have also occurred with this today's show. Perhaps there were questions they already knew they were going to ask. And this question was asked to generate some type of buzz around the conversation. And perhaps Patrick has already been signed. But they're just, again, protecting the cast. And so they want certain trades to start reporting on it as an exclusive. Just something to throw out there. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.